developing story. One person is dead and a child injured after separate recent accidents in Batavia. Now, both victims were hit by cars on Route 31. And now residents are calling on the city and state to make that area safer. CBS News' Lauren Victory is live along Route 31 with the concerns they shared in a meeting last night. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Andrina and Ryan. Well, Route 31 is currently a four lane road and many people complain about how narrow it is. Last night we heard about how dangerous it is. This is a memorial for a bicyclist killed three weeks ago. She was hit by a car right here on Millview and Route 31. Please step up and do more. Talk to IDOT more. It was tremendously difficult to lose a friend so suddenly and in a way that could have been prevented. You heard that resident mention IDOT, Illinois Department of Transportation. That's because Route 31 is under the state's control, so Batavia City Council can't just add signs or reduce speed without permission. Any process involving the state takes years of studies, engineering, and public meetings. Here's what city leaders say they're doing now, working with IDOT to launch a speed study, researching the possibility of a bridge or a tunnel from Millview under or over Route 31, adding more police patrols, and increasing the use of electronic speed signs. Now, the biggest update from last night's meeting was the state agreeing to speed up a project to improve how to narrow Route 31. IDOT will be marking up the road by next spring that's instead of in 2026. Live in Batavia, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News.